In the wake of allegations that the AG deliberately evaded service of a court order and utilized government resources to do so, details are emerging on the timetable leading up to and following his sudden departure from the CNMI. On Wednesday, August 1st, Buckingham announced plans to resign from his post. At the time, he said his last working day would be Friday, August 3rd, and he planned to leave the CNMI on Sunday, August 5th, to relocate with his wife to San Francisco. Though the announcement took many, including the public auditor's office, by surprise, Buckingham told KSPN the decision had been made a while ago. You know, the governor and I have been talking about this for some time, and one of the decisions that we made was to keep this quiet, because as soon as you announce you're leaving, you become a lame duck, and that means that you're not going to be effective. So um, we decided we would talk about kind of how we would do this. This was a couple months ago. Sources familiar with Buckingham's travel plans tell KSPN that he purchased his one-way ticket to San Francisco on June 28th. At the time, his itinerary indicated a departure date of Sunday, August 5th. But the Buckinghams actually departed the CNMI on Saturday, August 4th, and we're told the travel plans were changed sometime on Friday, August 3rd. We don't know the exact time the change was made, but we do know that the public auditor's office filed charges against Buckingham in court at about 11 a.m. on Friday, and Buckingham himself confirmed knowing about the penal summons that went out for him by Friday afternoon. In a phone interview from San Francisco on Sunday, August 5th, Buckingham. Basically what happened is one business hour of notice is what happened. You know, this is like something uh, that was uh, done at 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. I contacted Gil Burnbrick, and he told me as of 4.20 that now he'd heard about it. That was the first either one of us had heard about it. After more than 12 hours of stakeouts and frantic efforts by OPA investigators to find him, the AG was ultimately served as summons by federal agents at about 5 a.m. on August 4th. At the airport, guarded by senior law enforcement officers and the governor's personal driver, waiting for a 6 a.m. flight to Narita. Though Civil Division Chief Gil Burnbrick has told the court Buckingham intends to return to the CNMI to face the charges against him, Burnbrick has also said there's no specific date set yet. Meanwhile, Judge David Wiseman has issued a $50,000 bench warrant for the AG's failure to appear at his arraignment on Monday, and as of press time, OPA is still trying to figure out a way to bring him back.